Welcome to the Alon Paul channel, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're going to be doing the Nexus mission inside the Anomaly for the weekend of June 21st, 2024. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, get this moving along. We are in the Anomaly already, so let's take a look and see what's going on. See what our, see what our uh, folks at Hello Games are up to for our mission. Uh, looks like we're unearthing ancient bones, so I'm going to get a mind control device. Oh yeah, we really could use one of those. And 1800 Quicksilver on top of it all. So let's go ahead and select it. Usually you get a secondary reward. It's probably, yep, in this case about a half a million units. Let's go ahead and start the mission and get moving along. Okay, and we're going to take our new ship here that I've built from scratch and cobbled together from other pieces. It is my new stealth gunship, as I call it. There we go, and we're on our way. Okay, so in case any of you are wondering, no, you can't flip around on this one. <laughs> but the uh, the wings, the, the uh, rotors that are on there kind of freak out a little bit while you're in hyperspace. We don't know why. They'll probably fix that in an upcoming... Uh, you know, minor, minor, minor update. There we go. So we're in this new system here. Don't ask me to pronounce that. And I think the planet we're going to is over this direction. There we go. Uh, bone rich planet, it says. All right, let's check this planet out, see what we got going on. Um, go to first person view and scan it. Let's see what we got going. Moon of unknown planet. Yamit. Yeah. Whatever. Icebound moon, ancient bones, frost crystal, ac activated cadmium. That means we're going to have storms here. Dioxide if you need it, silver, and yay, aggressive sentinels. This ought to be fun. So for those of you who don't like aggressive sentinels and don't like sentinel battles, well, you may not want to do this one. <laughs> Let's see what they're up to. Uh, these planets also tend to have a lot of gravitino balls on them, so we may be stumbling across a few of them. So you don't have to go anywhere specific. What in the world is that? Did I, did I just find a wrecked ship? Huh. Yep, an actual wrecked ship. Go figure. Looks like it can add something to my coffers anyway. I will go ahead and land. Okay. I gotta watch out for those sentinels though, so let's keep an eye open. We do get into a battle, I am going to fight them because I do want to shut them down or else they're going to be annoying the crap out of me the whole time. Uh, let's see. Strength in the black box. Okay. They usually give me a reward. Standing was increased. Okay, well that's fine. Always good to have a standing increase. And maybe we'll take the ship. Nothing special. Minor repair needed to get this thing back on its feet. Um, it's not going to be worth much. It's a B-class. I really don't need a ship. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one. If you all want to know where it is, here's... There's the coordinates at the top right. Plus 15, plus 98. Plus 15, plus 98. There we go. Okay, and as I, as I saw, there are neutrino... Uh, neutrino. Gravitino. <laughs> Gravitino ball. Yeah, I had to actually do that or else it would have drove me nuts. Um, we're going to take some of the resources here. You can always do that. You never know what you might, you, what you might get. Yeah, like I need more Gek relics. I've probably got uh, stashes of them in my cargo. All right. What's my inventory look like? It is a mess. Okay. But we do have plenty of room for bones. Okay. That's fine. Looking pretty good. Health-wise, we're okay. Alright. Yep, we're in good shape. So, let's take a look. Bone's right in front of me at 719. We're going to actually walk this one and take a look. Looks like there's a couple of them at least. Two, maybe three of them. And we'll do everything on foot. Let's see if we can entice them to come out. Blizzards, eh, we're at 150 below. I wonder how cold it'll get. Boink, boink. Bouncing off trees. Great. Yeah, get a little sodium on the way. You can do that as you wish. 
not counting steps because I'm not speed running, which by the way is a good time to mention speed runs with the new expedition are are going crazy right now. Uh, Delta and I are Delta that is Delta one two four six. Check out his channel. He just recently crushed me and has a nice run of oh, how many was it again? Hey, Storm Crystal. He has a nice run of one hour and twenty three minutes. Absolutely destroyed me. My my fastest time is um, one thirty right now. Oh, looks like we have four bones here. How many do we need? Twelve. Okay. This one looks like a good one. Okay, 780, good. This one's a small one. Big one, okay. And, good. okay, so we got four. I can't get out. Help me, I've fallen. There we go. Too far to estimate. I haven't run into that in a while. Let's just go somewhere else real fast. And we're gonna hurt. Still too far to estimate. I will go that way, but I'm more looking for something to pull my ship in at, rather than in the middle of all these trees. Okay, let's take a look around. Uh, let's see, anything nearby? Lots of frost crystals, animals, that kind of thing. Alright, let's get out of the trees and onto this uh, hillock over here. Hill? Look. You know what I mean. We'll pull the ship in. We'll take one more look, and if there's nothing nearby, we'll pull the ship in. Nope. So, pulling the ship in. And we're going to go look for more bones someplace else. It's a pretty ship. Almost couldn't see it. It was camouflaged. Just kidding. Just kidding. It actually is a pretty quick ship. It is definitely nowhere near as fast as some of my Sentinel ships, but it's pretty quick. It's not bad at all. Let's get a scan going of the surface. See if we can find some place to land. Hmm, not a whole lot, right? There's something. Well, I don't think it's much of anything, but it might just be a beacon or something like that. But it's at least an open area. Hopefully these things don't last long. Okay, little campsite. All right, let's take a look. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, good. 900, 800. That's the closest. There's one at 900, which is closer by that one. So we should be able to get to all the rest of our bones here. Again, very odd that we don't have any sentinels popping up all over the place. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it for now. Again, I'm going to do most everything on foot on this particular exp uh, expedition. I almost said expedition. On this particular uh, mission, just to lay the land and take a look at things. We're trying to draw out the sentinels because I'd rather turn them off. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go into multiplayer mode real quick, and that way we'll opportunity will present itself to help other people why don't we do that because that is what we do okay pvp's off because i don't want anybody just taking pot shots at me and now it's daytime <laughs> that's what happens sometimes go All right, how many bones we got here? Looks like it's only the one. Nope, we got two. Looks like a good bone. And a cheap bone. Okay, that's two more. We're up to... S how far out is that one? 753, but we should have some that were close by. There we go. Gonna go over the trees and watch our jetpack fuel. Go. 
Oh, hello. Almost glitched out into a side of a hill there. Hmm, buried tech right there. I don't need any. I've got tons of it on this save. Huh. Looks like this is a hole somebody else has already dug. Three bones. Got a little one. Got a decent one. 2,000 years old. Nice. Take the third one. Alright, so what are we up to? We're up to nine? Yes. We need one more. Oh, well, one more find, I should say. 600 block, uh, almost said it again. Steps away. Curious. No sentinels, right? Okay. This hill, up and over. Okay, there we go. Trees are a little hard to traverse here. There we go. And looks like we got two. Really? Couldn't be three, huh? How far? 500? 700. Okay, we'll take the 500. We only need one more. Wow. I hope this doesn't happen on my speed runs. We have to get like eight... Unearth eight bones. Having to go to like 14 different sites to get them is going to be ridiculous. Alright. Got a funny feeling that what's going to end up happening is we're going to trigger them somehow. The last bone, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Only one bone here. Worth a lot. Okay, let's see what happens. Anything? No. No sentinel still. Alright, let's pull in our ship. Oops, I wasn't trying to do that. But I will pull in my ship anyway. I guess we're going to have to get started. What do we want to use? Neutron cannon? Get that charge. Let's charge up the neutron cannon. Let's try the neutron cannon. Let's just take a look at my multi-tool and see how we, have, how we have things set up. Yeah, it's in the supercharged slots. Neutron cannon for crowd control, folks. Nothing else? Oh, there's someone behind my ship. They're hiding. No reason to recharge, so we're going to be fighting for a few minutes here. So enjoy the show. Not a lot of commentary to go on here. I didn't know we could use plants to block them. That's pretty cool. Locking himself. Yeah. You didn't have a chance, my friend. Level four. Let's look at this open field. I think that's a little bit of a better place. There we go. I'm going to take out the triangle dude. Hello. He jumped right through. Eh, get with him. Get him first. Got him. Couple shots took care of him.
Got him. Oh, hi there. Where'd you come from? You're, you've been so inept that I didn't even notice you were here. Hey, you hit me one time. Congratulations. I'll take your barrel. Let's go over to this open field over here. Now, we're going to have the two-legged walker here, so I think we'll be able to take him pretty easily. They always come in the direction that you're facing. Just remember that. Take out your uh, healers. Even with healing, I still took you out. Hey, who invited him? Remember to take out the healers, okay guys? Because if you don't take out the healers, they'll heal up everybody too fast. What are you shooting at? Is it just because of the cold you guys can't figure this out? And goodbye. Sentinel network destroyed. Excellent. Got a couple brains out of it. And where my ship at? My famous last words, right, folks? Where's my ship? I know it's nearby. I parked it purposely over here. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Unbelievable. There we go. Okay. We'll check out the Sentinel uh, nest as well. How far out are you? Oh, you're not far. You're not far at all. When you pull your ship in and you, if you had everything uh, redistributed to your engines, you're going to have to uh, redistribute it one more time. It automatically resets it basically makes your ship vanish from where it was located at and reappear where you're currently at. So, resetting all its settings. Okay. Coming for a landing. Got it. Alright. Well, that was fun. We'll take out these. They give you extra stuff anyway. Okay, take out the barrel. Should be at least two more. There's one. And one more over here, maybe. There it is. Get some supplies. Got it. Okay, and we'll just go ahead for the platform and see what kind of a multi-tool we've got here. We're not going to go through the logs. I've already been through that on the save. Ugh, not a very good one. I mean, it's got a geology cannon, but... Yep, got to go through. One more time. Log off. There we go. Okay. And that should take care of it. And my thermal protection is falling. There we go. So let's head out to our location that we need to head to to talk to Polo. Polo's contact. I don't see it. Oh, okay. I had to do it a second time. So where is it? Oh, there it is. It was right in front of me. That's why I couldn't see it. So we've taken out the Sentinel network, so anybody else who lands on the planet for a little while, for at least a couple of hours, will not have to find any Sentinels. You're welcome. This ship is pretty quick, isn't it? But up to the sunrise. Slow and hover. Very pretty. And there he is. Let's go talk to Polo's contact. Where he sits down. He sat down.
Okay, life form visor twinkles. They seem pleased to see me, but less interested in my company than in the prospect of analyzing the bones I've, I've excavated. Show the samples. Orvac selects a sample of bone matter, swiftly analyzing it with a module built into their carapace. Returning the bones, they transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And you're done. So now all we have to do is head back to the Nexus. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hey, we we're heading straight for a planet. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> That would have been funny. Coyote and Roadrunner. Funny. There we go. Okay, so we're headed in. So we'll get our rewards. And we'll check out the Quicksilver vendor. Something tells me that they have actual... Something going on in the in, at the Quicksilver vendor lately. So we'll take a look at that. Plus we're in multiplayer, so you can see all these wonderful ships. There we go. Looks like a lot of people are getting the... Uh, getting those ships. There we go. And I love these. These. Right here. Awesome ships. I love those. There's a Squiddy over there. Look at that. You don't see them too often. Let's go visit. Squiddies are kind of rare. Very nice. Very nice. All white. Very pretty. Good job. Good find. Alright, so let's head to the Nexus. And finish our mission. Complete. Mission complete. 1800 Quicksilver, we got our mind control device, and some nanites. Or some cash, I should say. Alright, let's check the Quicksilver vendor and see what we got. Ah, there we go. Titan Fireworks. Red, green, and golden. Uh, tier 1, when it completes, will get us the red. Tier 2, the golden. And tier 3, green. Alright, very good. So that's what they're giving away here this time. So there you go. Excellent, folks. So we want to thank you all for watching, and... Uh, if you like what you've been seeing, please hit that like button down below. Really appreciate it. It does help the channel quite a bit. And if you uh, really been liking what you've been seeing, please feel free to subscribe if you feel like doing so. I want to thank you all again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Watch for another video over the weekend. We might have a like a uh, playthrough of a speedrun, but we'll see what happens. All right, folks, take care.